watch and be sober mentally spiritually sober right and how do we stay spiritually sober by digesting this word right because it makes us sound and it makes us sober and it makes us serious right when you're drinking in a physical sense your faculty your mental faculties are everywhere when you have these scriptures your mental faculties are what more single okay verse 7 for they that sleep sleep in the night those that are sleeping they're sleeping in the night right and they that be drunken are drunken in the night right but let us have the day because most of we represent see the whole we represent the day, right? And during the day, you get things done. During the day, you work, right? And that's why I must work the works of him while it is day, right? You rest at night, okay? And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who have the day be so by putting on the breastplate of faith. Breastplate is what a covering, shield of armor. That's what we're gonna put on. This word is the breastplate. This word is the armor. Okay. That's what this word is. Okay, armor. Right? Of faith and love and for an helmet of salvation so this is the ultimate protection faith all these things that I've described the troubles that's what's gonna get you through it that faith okay and it says for the most have not have appointed us have not appointed us to wrath but to obtain Okay, to hold on to salvation by our Lord Yahabashai Mashiach. That's what that's our expectation. Okay. Who died for us that we, that whether we wake or sleep we should live together with him. That's our expectation. That's why we gotta stay what? Circumspect. Okay. And guard it. Okay? And you go to Revelation 13 and 16. What does it talk about? That that mark of the beast, the chip. It's gonna be implemented. Okay. Gonna be to implement it on different parts of the earth. Which you have what? A system that ties in with that. The 5G. The algos, the internet of things. And that's all a part of what? The mark of the beast, the system, right? So all these things are gonna happen. Okay, and this is something I really wanted to go into, Hebrews 3. And let's start, actually start at four. Let us therefore fear, right? So yeah, we gotta fear. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Not to say you ain't gonna mess up, you ain't gonna make mistakes. Let us therefore fair. Stay fair in your Shai. Right? Lest the promise being left us of entering into his rest, we come to fall short of it. And we don't wanna fall short. Right? That's why we need to what? Labor. Okay? Lest you fall short of that promise. And of that fact, because it's easy to lose faith when you're not focused. Because this world, there's so many distractions in this world, right? So many things that can catch you off guard, right? That can cause you to be what? Distracted. Okay? Lest any of you shall come short of it. We don't want to come short of what salvation. That's the last thing. 
we want to come short of is salvation is what making it right so what do we do we're going to go into it for unto us was the gospel preached right those that believed right was the gospel preached okay as well as unto them what the rest of those that heard this word but the word preached did not profit them so this word yes it's not going to profit everyone right it's not it's not going to profit those that don't have faith that don't believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai this word is only profitable to those that believe profitable to them and it's profitable to those that are teaching others that also believe it's not profitable to someone that doesn't really care that doesn't believe and that's why men they go back into the world or they hang around or they use the brothers you know yeah the brothers is, is beautiful because you have brothers but if you're just coming around I'm gonna I'm gonna use this brother I'm gonna I've seen it all before I've seen it all before, men that do that. They use brothers, right? As a, as a spiritual leech, right? But when they're by themselves, they're weak as hell. They're not showing any faith, right? Because you're acting. That's why you really, really, really have to have them gut checks from time to time to see, do you really believe in this truth, right? Are you just an actor? You really have to do that. Because men, there's men that can really, really put on a good act. A really good act. And you would think this man is really in the spirit. Okay? And it says, not being mixed with faith. So this word has to be mixed with faith in them that heard it. So yeah, this word it has to be mixed with faith. Blended in. All right, you hear the words? Do you believe the words? Do you believe in Abraham existing? Do you believe in Yahweh Shai existing? Right? Do you believe in the miracles? Do you believe that you could be of what the hopeful were left? You have to believe in these things. Do you believe in the angels? Okay. You have to believe in all these things. Faith. Right? You have to. Because if you don't, Really, you're just wasting your own time and you're just going to be destroyed. For we, have a, for we which have believed do enter into that rest. Those that believe, they're going to enter into that rest. They're going to enter into that kingdom. Those that believe. Those that don't believe, they're not going to enter in. They're going to die. Right? Lord's looking for those that have faith. Not those that are, they believe one day and the next day they don't, they don't believe. You gotta be firm in this. Whether you're amongst others or you're not. And more so when you're by yourself. Because that's when your is really testing you. When you're by yourself. You got a lot of flipping jive turkeys in this truth. As he said, I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, all the works were finished from the foundation of the world. So everything's been prepared in the spirit. Who was going to make it and who weren't going to make it on this side? Right? For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on the way, seventh day. What is that going to? The, the, what's it? The, the Sabbath. Right? Which is a day of rest. Which is a day of remembering Yahweh Shai. Right? On the ways. Okay? And the Most High did rest. You see? And the seventh day from all his works. That's where you get what? The Sabbath, a day of rest, right? And in this place, 
if they shall enter into my rest. And ultimately that rest is the kingdom. That's the ultimate rest, right? It's within the kingdom. That's when we're gonna be able to rest. Sing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein. Some, not all. And they too, whom it was first preached, entered not in because of unbelief. So you're, all, you're, you're always gonna have those that don't believe. Right? You always had those that didn't believe. So they did not enter. Again, he lived in a certain day, saying in David today, after so long a time, it's, as it's said, today if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. And that's what our people do. They harden their hearts towards what Yahweh Shai and his promises that he's made. The promises are already been made. It's just that our people, they don't, they don't want to believe. No, okay? But if you have shot giving them rest, excuse me. Then would he not afterwards? Okay, I've spoken of another day. Okay. May remain if therefore I rest the people of the most side. There is that rest. No, but that's the kingdom. Not now, not here. You're in captivity, but you're complacent. So men that don't really want to push this word, they just, you know, they just want to, you know, hang about. They're not really urgent. They don't really want to get out of here. We're still in our precious hand, right? For he that entered into his rest, he also seek from his own works, as the Most High did from his. Let us labor, right? Therefore, so this is great labor, this is great toil, right? To enter into that rest. That's what that's why we're laboring. So we can enter into that rest. Right? There's work that goes into a lot of work that goes into this. A lot. Does any man fall after the same example of unbelief? And that's why men fall. Because they stop laboring. Right? They stop having that same passion that they once had. So therefore you fall. You lose faith. And we can't afford to lose faith. Especially now. This is near the end. Okay? We're near the end, so this would be the worst time to lose faith. It'd be the worst time. So faith right now really, really needs to be increased. More than ever. Does any man fall off for what the same ex example of unbelief? So I've seen it many times, right? Because those, they were not giving themselves unto what? The word. You're gonna give yourself unto this wholeheartedly, right? ashamed, right? You shouldn't be ashamed of your Habashai. Right? And sometimes I do ask myself, how comes certain brothers, there should be there, there should be many more brothers going out into the highways and byways. How comes there ain't much? Why? Because they're ashamed of the testimony of your Habashai. That's the only conclusion you can come to. They're ashamed. You're not supposed to be ashamed of Yahweh Shai and his testimony, right? 
and the testimony is his witness. You're not supposed to be ashamed of the witness of Yahweh Shai. Right? Of our Lord Yahweh Shai, nor me, his prisoner. You're not supposed to be ashamed. You're not supposed to be at camp, you know? Covering your heads, you know, you know, covering your face. You don't want your family members to see you. Why? Because you're still a part of the world. You still care about how this world thinks. How this world perceives you. And that's a dangerous spirit to be in because if you care, you're gonna what? Compromise yourself. To be accepted by the world. You gotta take the chip. To be accepted by the world. That's why you gotta what? Fair your how way of a shine. Right? And not care about what this world thinks. Because the world is wicked alone. Right? This world is against you. This world is against you, Abba Shai. But you're trying to, to seem good in the eyes of the world. How does that work? Okay. It don't work out. It's not going to work out. Have to put your Shai first. And you can't be ashamed of his testimony. Right? The scripture says, whoever shall be ashamed of me in this wicked and, and adulterous generation, I shall be ashamed of him. Right? But being a partaker of the affliction of the gospel, and there's many, we go through afflictions every single day. But that's a part of the gospel. Because you have to. You want to be built up, you want to be acceptable, you have to go through them afflictions. Yahabashai went through it. So we have to go through it. There's, 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 no, there's no easy route, right? There's no easy path. You have to go through it. There's no sidestepping. You have to go through it. Okay.